May the Schwartz be with you. Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party time, excellent. Woo, 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 woo. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Remember that? <laughs> All right, I'm freaking out, man. That was, oh my God, man, I could cry right now, man. That was so beautiful. I'm overjoyous, man. And then, and then they said a few people to raise their hand that wanted to be prayed for, right? And everyone put their hand on them and stuff. So I raised my hand for healing, right? And uh, oh, this gorgeous woman. I don't mean that in a lustful way. I mean this gorgeous woman next to me, I didn't know people would put their hands on so she was the only one to put her hand on my shoulder and they did prayers over us and then the priest come with the like olive oil or something and put it on my forehead and then on my hands my hands were sweating from the hyperhidrosis stuff but I'm fearless now I'm not afraid of sweat as the horoscope said he who is not afraid of sweat can accomplish anything who is not afraid who does not fear sweat which was like the perfect because I have hyperhidrosis, sweat, hands, underarm, feet. Yeah, since age five, you know, that stuff, a little ultra sensitive, my nervous system, too much acetylcholine flowing through. So they did that. I had to shake some hands, man. Gorgeous woman. You could actually see her in the video clip, the one sitting next to me for a blink second. And I'm becoming, I'm becoming a teen counselor on Tuesday. Oh my God, man, this is awesome. And I got tons of food. My mom's gonna be happy because we ran out of food. I have some coffee. Oh my God, I had no caffeine this morning. I'm quitting caffeine on the 1st of May. This is the beginning of the new me. Documentary, searching for the gods, they're amongst us. The guy said, the priest said he always hits us. They had this question, right? They said, where is it, where is it? Oh, what is the most amazing thing that has happened in your life that you wish would last forever? And the first thing that comes to mind, you know what I'm gonna say. And if you're watching this, that special song, you know what I'm about to say. The one, the most amazing thing that ever happened in your life that you wish would last forever? It like went off in my head. Melanie. Oh my God, Melanie. Oh my God, Melanie. And no matter what happens, I wish her the best. I love her so much and care so much. But the month of May, it's sad to say I gotta get my mind off her because it's too painful for me. So I just pray for true love. Whatever, whatever God wants for me. They say the gift of free will it's not a, it's a curse until you give the gift back to the gods, or God, however you want to say it. And uh, I'm learning some cool things they, about judgment and honesty. So this month coming up, going to be judgment and honesty. Judgment is a tough one because you got to judge a little bit to keep yourself safe. You meet someone, you judge, you feel their soul, right? But you got to not judge people, and they taught us... This is what I needed to learn right here. Okay, this is like a law. I'm gonna start studying all religions. I'm going to the library, man, today. I wanna get all those religious texts, all of them. I want the Book of Enoch, man. I wanna know what the extraterrestrials told him back then. You know, I wanna get the uh, Book of Proverbs. The Hebrew, I wanna get all the books. I'm talking, I am talking about, holy cow, the, the Quran, everything, man. I want all the books, all the religious texts. I believe they all hold keys, man. Keys to the higher intelligence, the higher source, the higher knowledge. So this is what they taught. This is it, love right here. Love, it says a new commandment. Love, love all people as I have loved you, as God has loved us, right? So you should love as I love have loved you, you should love one another. And this, think about it. Think about it like this, right? I've sinned bad. 
I was a heroin addict since age 14 and on for like eight years full addiction and like so I've been through a lot right so what I'm saying is it's never too late to be repurified reborn not not necessarily in a religious sense I'm not reborn in a religious sense I lost my soul for 13 years the gods personally reborn me wasn't a religious thing on my birthday April 7th went to the city March 12 2012 I got my soul back went through a 10 month rebirth birth process from the gods directly a personal relationship with the gods doesn't have to be religion religious you could do it through Islam you could do it through Hindu Buddhism you could do it through spirituality to be reborn when you've go, gone through something in life, you lost people, family members died, you went through a crisis, you went through breakdown, uh, mental, whatever they call that, bre breakdown is that what it's called? Anxiety, emotional breaking, you've died, you've had a car accident, whatever you've been through, you could be reborn and repurified. And you go through this metamorphic stage. I'm in I'm in metamorphosism right now to the afterlife. It means I'm gonna keep ascending to the afterlife. And I live different now. There's no turning back once you once you are enlightened. There's no turning back from this, man. This is to my last breath. And next month, next month is the new me. I'm doing all these laws, extraterrestrial diet complete honesty not afraid to be myself I'm not saying I'm this huge liar but I'm saying I've been afraid to be myself like this I've been afraid to say because my mission is to reach people that aren't religious so I've been afraid to say you know what that was freaking beautiful being in that church Christianity the people in there are amazing man that was so beautiful. They all prayed for me. They cared, man. They reach out. They gave me food. Now the lady, that the older lady that I talked about before, she's like between 80 and 90 years old. I've been seeing her for like two years. Now I'm becoming a teen counselor now. So this is like amazing stuff. Eight sides. They talked about this eight sides. This is, this is key right here. They talked about these eight points. I forgot what it's called. And they were talking about the seven days, right? And then they said, what does the eighth side mean? And I said in my mind, infinity, infinity, infinity. The number eight means infinity. I think in like Buddhism or Hindu. And like, this is the crazy thing. All these religions, when they started, they didn't know about each other. Just like the pyramids back then that were made the same way, the same logic, that human beings couldn't have even made them back then. They couldn't have moved them stones. We could, they say some of those pyramids, we couldn't even make them now how they made them. Crazy. And like, it's like all over the world, it's like we end up, people that believe in God end up finding the same laws. That is proof right there. That number eight means infinity. In Christianity, I never heard of that. The eight side points, and the eighth side means infinity everlasting life it's right there Wayne's world Wayne's world party time excellent oh yeah this this one woman that sings in there she's like no joke four feet tall maybe four foot one four foot two and uh, she's like either Asian or like a mix or whatever and she's got the curly hair and the, the glasses she always wears this really tight suit like either like it was kind of like silver, goldish gray. And she would put her arms up when she's singing. What is she, what was she singing? Your name forever is my king. Wait, wait, how's it go? I will praise your, she goes. I will praise your name forever. And she puts her hands up and it's like, it's like you could feel the energy. Like she, the way she does it, it's like so cool. And then she, puts her hands up, it's like, so awesome. Oh, uh, so they did the prayer for me, right? They put the hands on my shoulders. Everyone in there prayed for me for healing, right? And then they gave us a card. A card to pray with the name on it. I put Talia from Angel.
socials of Talia, 13 year old girl, so famous on the internet, so inspirational, 13 year old girl, battling cancer for six years, go to Angels, Angels for Talia, Talia, go to her YouTube, it's on my site, this girl is so amazing, so hilarious, so strong, so pure, so like, and the reason I bring this up, because this church, I needed this man, I was struggling the past two weeks, don't have money for food or water, I've been trying to do this New York documentary, man, I could cry right now, seriously, but like, I tried so hard, man, to do this documentary, like, I don't have money, I don't have food or water, so I can't go on, I'm not complaining, I'm grateful for everything for having my spiritual self no matter what happens here. What I'm saying is, girl 13 been battling cancer six years, right? I threw my life away a year at age 14. I decided to throw my life away. My life would have been perfect. I decided to sniff that heroin at age 14. So what I'm saying is, you know, I hope this girl survives, man. Cause she'll save lives, you know. So, oh, I wanted to say after I got peace of mind that I've been saying yesterday that I need peace of mind, right? Peace of mind and soul because I was struggling, I struggled bad yesterday and the day before. Today I make it actually funny, I just realized this. Today I crossed the 40 day, 40 night barrier without, you know, the masturbation thing. I've been trying to give that up. I remember like 10 years ago, the Lent would come every year, 40 days, 40 nights. I would, every year I would try to give up masturbation. I'm not saying I'm a, like a sick person, like, oh my God, I gotta masturbate or something. What I'm saying is, stress and anxiety it would I would always try to give it up I'd make it a week two weeks and I would break man today marks I made it through the 40 days 40 nights no more wasting DNA the truth is us men need that you can't be wasting that stuff that's intelligence that's life man don't do it just walk away for it from it Use that for procreation. This is a sick topic. Sperm. <laughs> Just use it for procreation, man. <laughs> Yo, honesty, man. This month coming up is pure 100% blur. Being, me being myself. I'm not trying to talk about myself in the third person. Me, my name is Blur. Being myself 100%. Talking about these struggles. I made 40 days, 40 nights, man. 80, 40 days, 40 nights, without, you know, masturbation. Can't say that I didn't get an erection <laughs> or a boner, like, sometimes, but what I'm saying, next month, what I'm saying is, to, yet last night I said to myself, I'm not even going to get an erection <laughs> or a boner until I find true love. I'm not, I'm just saying, and then when I find true love, I won't be able to help it, man. It's just, but it'll be pure and everything, so that'll be good. So these are the changes you think you know. You have no idea, son. Alright, I'm gonna go bring this food to my mom and scarf down this coffee. Peace!